So we've all been talking about it. It's that really thick haze, pollution, gunk, smog, whatever you want to call it. Well, that, that beautiful that? view of the valley right there. I know. You're wondering, where is the mountains? Well, the mountains are above that. Okay, so. Are you sure? I'm going to break it down for you guys. <laughs> what you're seeing is fog. There's also pollution in that fog, so we call that smog. Uh, basically what we're having because we live in a big bowl is a temperature inversion. Now, with this temperature inversion, they've been happening for centuries. We're not new to this. What's new is that we have millions of people now up and down the Wasatch Front. We are emitting pollution. Cars, I know. Everything. In the air. And so it's staying in the air. There's nowhere for it to go. It is trapped. So it is warmer in the mountains. I believe Park City made it to about 50 degrees today. It was a beautiful day. My wife works in Park City. She goes, it was lovely. Well, Down here in Salt Lake. Yeah. yeah. It's 30 degrees, it's gross, it's yucky, it's smoggy. Our air quality is unhealthy for sensitive groups. So we talk about sensitive groups, you know, children, elderly, folks with respiratory issues, uh, pregnant women. Uh, we got to reduce how much time you are outdoors. It really is like smoking a cigarette or two, just being out in this gunk. So staying inside, I mean, your air conditioner unit, the filters you have on that. I think Change the clean, filters. That'll clean up some of this air, make it better for those who are sensitive, right? That's right. And, you know, basically what we need is a storm system to blow everything out. There's really not much we can do. We've been seeing some dense fog, uh, really low visibility, especially around the Great Salt Lake. So that fog develops. We have water vapor in the atmosphere, and around the Great Salt Lake, that kind of helps add the moisture content to the atmosphere. And that fog can be very treacherous. We saw that this morning. So we might see that tomorrow morning as well. Visibility less than a quarter mile. So really slow down if you're driving through Salt Lake City and the surrounding areas because we're going to be dealing with this for probably a few more days. The good news though, we might start to see some improvement by the middle part of the week, but by the end of the week and into the weekend, that's when we have a storm. And hopefully by Christmas Eve, everything is going to be blown out and we might get a little bit of snow. Fingers crossed. And Paul, you were telling me how it seemed to ice up everything that's, in your neighborhood. Matter of fact, yeah. I, would, I had to ask Lindsay about this because it seemed like scraping the windshield was harder today than it was in the You probably have a little bit more ice, more ice because yeah. you had that fog and it's below freezing. It's below 32 degrees. So if you are fully saturated, you're getting these layers of glaze, if you will, on your vehicle. And sometimes that can also stick to bridges and overpasses, and it's even dangerous. Glazed Camry, glazed <laughs> bridge and overpass. There you go. Uh, and not the glaze that you glaze. want. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, it's not the shiny glaze. It's not the shiny, it's, it's, it's not the glaze. crispy cream, no. <laughs> All right, what else? Now, now I want.